Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing the front pages of the paper and we're dealing with the stories in the yeah. punch. So I have the CJN, um, the National Judicial Council, NGC, at their 106th uh, meeting yesterday. And within that meeting, they agreed and recommended um, Justice Kudirat Kekere Okun's name as the next CJN. Since um, mm -hmm. our President Chief Justice is retiring August 22nd, and so we'll be stepping down and we'll have our second Female yeah. Chief Justice. That's all. That's all. <laughs> There's no need to add any extra to this theory. All right. The courts are working. So the Federal High Court in Lagos on Thursday ordered the interim for feature of 2.4 million um, dollar and seven properties connected to former governor of the Central Bank, um, Mr. Godwin Emefili. They said Justice Akintayo Aluko made the order. Um, this was following an application by ESCC. You know. Uh, they've been investigating alleged fraudulent activities linked to MFLA. The properties in question include prime real estate in Lekki and Ikoi, that's in Lagos, as well as large industrial complex under construction in Agbo in Delta State. Um, they go, the report goes ahead to give detailed descriptions of the properties and addresses of the properties here in Lagos and in Delta State as well. But anyway, according to you know, the courts, they are saying that um, the money and properties in question are reasonably suspected to be proceeds of unlawful activities. We urge the courts to grant this application to prevent any further dissipation of these assets. And the court was empowered to make the interim for future. That's it. All right. Okay, so I'll take the educationist filing um, a case against the government. So this, let me highlight the name of the school owner. Pauline Boagu and her husband, Daniel, um, have filed an 11 billion naira suit against the governor. They also, also added six other people at the Lagos State High Court. They are property, which is in a, uh, it, it's a school, a school, the school landed property in Elasa, um, Lekki area of the state was demolished. And so they filed the case against the governor, the commissioner for justice, general manager of Labscada, the Lagos State Building Control Agency and the Permanent Secretary of Lagos State Ministry of Fiscal Development and I mean, Fiscal Plan and Urban Development, and they vested oil companies, Sterling Oil and its affiliates as well, about six of them. And they, the, they said that the India, an Indian company attempted to appropriate a portion of the land to them, that they bought the land, and they said they sold it to another company. And in um, executing that particular challenge, their own building was collapsed. So they've created, they've gone to court to... Um, file a case and they are asking for 11 billion um, naira to be paid to them. I like that they took a formal um, mm -hmm. route. It might take a while, but justice will still be served at the end of the day. Let's move on to the next paper, Nigerian Tribune. Anger as French court order seizure. We've taken that story. Nigeria battles multiple diseases as monkeypox cases rise to 39. Um, Kano governor has reduced governance to a joke. That's from Ganduje. Um, Nigerian court sets new record of over 30,000 mothers breastfeeding simultaneously. I remember that story. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, Nigerians are hungry due to failure of government. Afe Babalola, Senate denies receiving 21 million naira as salary allowances. Says running costs not peculiar to National Assembly. Um, Nima took the story of Kikiri Ekun as the um, new, mm -hmm. as a new CGN and inflation price drop is also making the headline. So, um, um, okay, so um, I have the story of the money, uh, monkey, monkey, pox. monkey pox, sorry. They said the Director General of NCDC, Dr. Jide Idris, um, disclosed as a briefing <coughs> on the ongoing outbreaks of cholera and monkey pox. He said in Nigeria, cumulatively, a total of 39 confirmed cases and zero deaths have been recorded across 33 states the federal capital territory. He said um, um, in Bayasa they have five cases, Cross River, Bayasa is leading, Cross River four cases, Ogun State four, Lagos have four cases, Ondo three, and Ebony three. He also said that not, noting the significant concern of the ease of cross-border transmission, this press conference is part of the effort to intensify our coordination and communication with stakeholders to manage the spread of the virus and prevent disease importation. He also said that so far about 2,863 confirmed cases and 517 deaths across 13 African countries okay. had been reported this year. Okay. So let's so watch out. World record. Ah. Okay. Yeah, so Nigeria has moved, moved Philippines from the world record with our 30,000 
force <laughs> breastfeeding mothers to make this year's breastfeeding day. Emphasizing the need for breastfeeding, we went all out, gathered women from all the 36 states, we proved 31 plus lactating mothers who were able to set a new world record and were leading now as uh, you know, the highest record to set <laughs> where, yeah, of lactating, highest follow women, through. record of lactating mothers. And so that's a good one. Mm -hmm. but the emphasis is on the importance of breastfeeding. If you mm -hmm. can, you must. I'm fighting somebody now because she started water feeding her child at two months so she can be dropping the child, not that she had anything, oh. so that she can walk around and rest. Oh. So I'm really, really not. It's not. We, I can. Uh, let's, let's You're be right. I'll be. Yes, God, let's be to use that. love. Eh? Use small yeah. empathy. Because mm -hmm. the way you are doing. Too far, my daughter's. She's. I can hey, better. Yes. So I'm going to show her Pepe. Exclusive. Press. <laughs> I did twice on her. Exclusive. Anyway. Anyway. Reading is demanding. All right. So it's let's take the story about what happened in Former Kano State Governor and Chairman of the APC, Abdul Lahig uh, Umar Ganduje, has dismissed his successor at. Um, that's the governor that uh, what he had claimed uh, Nima if you remember took the story that some of the legal documents concerning that case were carted away yeah. during the protest by hoodlums he says that I don't know if he's right to read it he says Putin. A, a clown that he <laughs> he dismissed his successor as a clown wow. who has reduced governance to a joke um, I find politicians can be very rude to each other, you know. So, anyways, he's saying that um, the uh, that there's that there's credible intelligence. As Ganduji says, there's cre credible intelligence and reports available to him that reveal that the governor was the alleged mastermind of the protest in Kano State to undermine the security in the northwest region and paint Tinubu's administration in a bad light. Mm -hmm. He says it is alarming that a sitting governor would incite such chaos and violence within his state, putting the lives and properties of innocent citizens at risk, and then goes ahead to strongly condemn these allegations of this, the this, governor. This, so this, oh, okay. no, this is his response. You know, the first one, the governor, they, they will say, took the first shot. Mm -hmm. So he, anyway, in the end, he just says that it shows that the governor does not have a hold on the security of his state mm -hmm. if this can, if he claims that this actually happened. So, actually, but the I feel, governor's claims was not logical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The chief farmer, so he closed everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moving on to Vanguard, major headline. Um, we've taken the story about federal government battling the, um, battling to recover the siege, the seized. They've seized it already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. yeah, court, there's an arbitration order now. They want to I was even thinking they are saying they will seize. They won't, they've ordered it. So it's, it's been ordered. So, but well, we haven't taken the story of the mediation. The federal government mediates between discos and manufacturers in Nigeria hmm. over electricity tariff hike. Um, we also haven't taken the story of a mixed reaction as the federal government plans to boost external reserve with 500 million Nigerian bond. Um, and there's a story of the Igbo professionals condemning Igbo, Igbo must go campaign. But one key story we need to take is the mediation. Okay, so the Minister for Power was, is, has agreed to meet with the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria as well as all heads of these schools across the country following the Bandhe Wala. So, so the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, of course, have, uh, anti, um, were against it because, you know, they are, they are going to suffer from it. But the Minister, while addressing, after the meeting, addressed um, journalists and said that government was determined to achieve their 6,000 megawatt target by the end of the year. And they also acknowledge the current face-off of the uh, man in terms of resistance to the new tariff. And they believe that there's a way to go. It's a new way to go, but they have to sustain even manufacturing activities in Nigeria by ensuring that there's power. And so they are going to do some, some of mediation and arrangement at the, at the end of the day. I'm really concerned for our minister for power is mm -hmm. his drive is a difficult job. Is a difficult job. His drive mm -hmm. to raise funds for discos and jenkos so that they are able to produce more is putting mm -hmm. him on the bad side of many mm -hmm. people. Like the he's, he has to mediate with manufacturers. Mm -hmm. He has to mediate with Asu. Asu is mm -hmm. calling that we need, and yet he's taxed with increasing power supply at the same time. So uneasy lies the head. We would like to have you on the show to talk about. It's been here. Um, <laughs> to talk about the challenges and how you're trying to resolve it. Um, our final paper for today, New Telegraph, we can't take any story, but maybe we'll just highlight some of the things in the papers um, that we haven't mentioned. So for 13 years, aviation agencies operated without governing board. Inflation has dropped by 0 0.8 points. Tinubu addresses shortfall in road distribution, says Omai. I mean, the president is addressing the shortfall in road distribution, 
Say Zomai, which is a, a minister for roads, um, Minister for Works. Kano, two arrested for police station signpost theft. That was very hilarious. Um, Bauchi Governor six federal government intervention in the flooding of five local governments within Bauchi. Caught orders temporary forfeiture of the properties um, of a Mifile. We didn't take that story, did we? Yeah, I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay, you did. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, that's what we can take on front page review for today. When we return, we have a very, very, today is Friday. Celebrity Friday, Justin Friday. It's be very engaging. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.